Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Kristen, and this is a place where we hang out and make interesting nails together. Today you're going to see me make my New Year's nails, which are just like super gold explosion junk nails <laughs> kind of thing. I try to keep things pretty entertaining over here. Usually I do like movie reviews on top of nail art, but this is just going to be a really chill video. Um, it's the day after New Year's <laughs> when I'm doing the voiceover. So yeah, we're just going to hang out, shoot the shit, talk about nails and maybe life. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. And you know, if that sounds fun to you, please consider liking this video. It definitely helps me out and consider subscribing for more. I do plan to keep you entertained in 2023, so definitely join my little family I have here on YouTube. And a big thank you to all the followers who watch every week and leave comments and always like. I appreciate you more than I can even express. I had no idea making these videos would be so <laughs> challenging at times. It's definitely a lot of work and I have a lot of respect for people who make videos now. But I'm just so glad that some people are watching. <laughs> some people are watching my hard work. So thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. So yeah, gold junk nails. So these were inspired by this dress that I got from Shein. I thought it was so beautiful, specifically the like nudie beige with the gold and the silver. It's not what I ended up wearing for New Year's, but it still served as inspiration for the nails. This pinky I wanted to look mostly clear with some gold foil, and then I'm going to add some gold caviar beads as well. Although they don't stick to the base coat, they're going to fall right off <laughs> here in a moment. And then I go back and use a thicker glue. I think I want to make a full set or at least a full hand kind of similar to this with like the nail being mostly clear with the gold or silver foil. And then I was thinking maybe some like weed leaves throughout it. It would be kind of like a cute 420 set, even though <laughs> we're not near that at all right now. But I don't know. Just just thinking. <laughs> just one of the many ideas that I have for nails coming up. So I hope you all had a really fun New Year's or just like a decent New Year's. For me, it's always been one of those holidays where there's so much like build up for it and then half the time I'm disappointed. <laughs> so I go into New Year's with like low expectations. I had a really great one this year, actually. So that's great. I spent it with my friends <laughs> instead of being alone, which is always the alternate option I like to choose. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you all had a pretty good New Year's or a relatively positive one. I had been thinking about how I don't really like the term New Year's resolutions and, you know, it kind of just leaves <clears throat> a bad taste in my mouth. I don't, yeah, I don't like the idea of making resolutions anymore, but I do have some goals <laughs> and I think it's I think it's good to set maybe some goals or even some intentions for the new year. Like uplifting things <laughs> that don't mean you have to like change a part of yourself or be hard on yourself in any way, like learning to be kinder to yourself. That's an intention that takes some work and dedication and that's a great one <laughs> to work on and yeah, just like setting yourself up with some reasonable goals. Like actually my goal I've been thinking is I want to try to get my channel monetized or close to monetized by next year. So we'll see. Like, I don't know, like I've never done this before building a channel, so I don't really know how long it can take to get to a thousand subscribers, but we're steadily growing and I have, you know, hope and I have lots of ideas and I'm going to keep going. So We'll just kind of see what happens. Something else that I also want to work on is just like letting people support me and my art. I've actually been an artist for a pretty long time and I've always struggled with actually like selling my work, which is why I think I'm so happy doing these videos because I'm just, I'm sharing my work and everything, but I don't have to, you know, I don't actually have to sell anything. But I'm also realizing that when I do videos, especially 
like, you know, the what if Krampus had a nail tech, like that video, for instance, that's a lot of work. And, you know, maybe there are people out there who would want to monetarily support me for that. So I did set up a Ko-Fi account and I'll put the information up on the screen because it's basically like this thing, you go there, it's connected to PayPal. And if you, you know, if you really enjoy one of my videos one of these days, or maybe I make you laugh, or I don't know, maybe I give you some inspiration, there's this option where you can, it's basically like a buy me a coffee kind of idea where you can just tip me a dollar. And I think that that's like, that doesn't make me feel bad. <laughs> that doesn't give me the like icky feeling that trying to sell stuff does, but like, like, you know, if I really appreciated someone's work, I would want to tip them a dollar. And I don't see a lot of people using that on YouTube, actually. I know a lot of people use Patreon, but that's not really my jam. So yeah, so <laughs> it's going to be hard for me to promote this, but I'm really going to try. Okay, in the new year, you're probably going to see me support this a little bit. So if you want to you send a dollar my way. And actually it's in Canadian, so it's probably less than a dollar if you're in America. But yeah, you can send that to me and I would be super grateful for it, but no pressure at all. So what can you expect from me coming up over the next year? I definitely still want to keep, you know, combining nails and movies because that's what kind of excites me when I'm doing new projects. And I love my videos where they're like, what if so and so had a nail tech? They're not like my most popular videos or anything, but they're what I really like to do. And I am hoping that people will <laughs> appreciate them more and more as we go. And my latest video, the like WTF Shein one is doing pretty well. Thanks everyone who gave me some comments on that video. I'm happy that you liked it. It's definitely a video idea that I'm going to keep going with. So I'll keep I'll keep checking Shein and seeing what weird stuff they are putting out to us. And we'll have one of those videos maybe like once every two months, maybe. That video was important to me because it was the first one where I actually have my face in the video. And it's something that I knew I wanted to do right from the beginning, even though I'm not like overly comfortable <laughs> being filmed or being on video, but I just saw it as a challenge and something that I wanted to work towards. So yeah, that was the first attempt at that, just kind of getting myself comfortable <laughs> with the idea of it, because you can definitely get away with having a nail channel and not showing yourself at all, which is totally fine. But yeah, for some reason, I keep trying to challenge myself, <laughs> but it should keep everything interesting for us. I've got a handful of movies that I know I want to make nails for, like Candyman, but I've been putting it off. One, because we've been kind of wrapped up with holiday season type nails pretty much since October. And yeah, I want to make those Candyman nails, but I need to figure out how to use and make my own water decals for that. And that's like a whole thing. Like I'm lucky that one of the nail pages that I follow on Instagram actually like sent me like everything I need and some instructions on how to do it. So some point in the upcoming months, I'm going to be buying all those supplies and figuring out the water decals. And I will, of course, share that with you. I also have a lot of like random ideas for nails that I think lean a little bit more on the funny side. Like I really want to make some crazy cat lady nails for some reason. Yeah, I think I think it's going to be an entertaining year. I'm excited to see how things progress here on YouTube and stuff. And I'm just like excited to hear from the people watching. So, you know, please leave any comment you want in the description or sorry, <laughs> any comment you want in the comment section because it means a lot to me. I don't know. I can't really, I never really left comments on YouTube channels before I started my own. So I get it. I get it. If you don't want to comment, I, I get it. But you know, the like button like that is super easy. So do that. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm being pushy. If you do decide to bless me with a comment, 
feel free to let me know what your nail goals are for 2023. I would like to know what you're up to. Even if you don't really wear nails or do your nails, like I've recently converted at least one of my friends to wearing press on nails and you know, the feeling like feeling like you're super pretty and a bad bitch is like, I think it's the reason why I keep, I keep wearing nails and I keep making them. So if you're someone who doesn't wear nails or doesn't wear long nails, give it a try. <laughs> Just try it out and then let me know. <laughs> Even if it was super hard and you couldn't figure out how to do anything like get your shoes on or do up buttons. <laughs> For me, I found them like fun little challenges, but I know not everyone is like that. But yeah, give them a try. I think that you'll like them and it's fun to have like something new to be excited about, right? I'm going to pop out for a bit. You can continue to watch me make the nails. Please do. It'll be fun. It'll be relaxing. I'll put on some like chill tunes. It'll be great. <laughs> and I'll come back near the end to kind of wrap things up.
Okay, I'm creeping in with the finished set. Let me know what you all think. I'm I'm all excited because I think it's a really beautiful set. Oh, and I did the other hand too. Something more simple. I just did the nude and then the layer of the glitter and then the gold foil and then some stars, if you're wondering. <laughs> I think they go well together. I kind of wish I would have alternated them so that both hands would have been the same kind of if you know what I mean. But anyway, I hope you like this video. I hope you like this nail set. I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.